Hello, Pastor, and welcome to another edition of Fact Friday. I'm your host, Martin Padilla. Chalk the Block is back and celebrating 15 years here in the community. Here to tell us all about those activities is Andrea Reed. Andrea, thank you so much for joining us. For those that don't know, what is Chalk the Block? When is it happening? Chalk the Block is the largest art festival in the El Paso region that is put together by the Museums and Cultural Affairs Department, as well as other amazing city department partnerships, community partnerships, and our wonderful sponsors, such as RISE and AT&T. The festival takes place in the heart of the Downtown Arts District and showcases local and touring artists, interactive art installations, music, vendors, and food trucks. This year's Chalk the Block will be October 7th through the 9th. How did Chalk the Block begin in our community? Chalk the Block was founded in 2008 and it was a one-day festival that featured 12 uh, participating artists. It has now grown to be a three-day event and celebration that our community looks forward to each year with over 200 local and touring artists participating, art installations and so much more. What are some of the highlights this year? This is actually Chalk the Block's 15th anniversary, hence the quinceanera tiara, and that's exactly what this theme is. It's very reminiscent of a quinceanera or a big birthday bash. It's just really a celebration uh, for our community as well as Chalk the Block. Not only are we showcasing exciting and interactive art installations from around the world, we are also celebrating El Paso. So this year's slogan for Chalk the Block is 15 in the 915, which means 15 years in El Paso to really emphasize our love for our city. With that, our mural walk artists will be our very own El Paso native, Kristen Apudaka, who will be putting together three murals in celebration of Chalk the Block along with her dedicated team. Also, each of our chalk art competitors are all based out of El Paso and are able to showcase their art to the public and receive a lot of recognition. The icing on this Chalk the Block cake is that our music headliner for this year is going to be Sparta, which is a band that is based out of El Paso. We are super excited to have them back home. Is this free and is there something for all ages? The Chalk the Block Festival is free to the public. Of course there will be vendors and food trucks, but entry to the actual festival is completely free. Chalk the Block has always brought visitors of different ages together, but we have always been exceptionally mindful of families. That's why there will be a lot of kids' activities, interactive art installations, and programming that will be activated at both El Paso Museum of Art and El Paso Museum of History. Be sure to take a look at our schedule online so that you don't miss anything. Where can people park and will a streetcar be part of the festival? Chalk the Block attendees can park at the Mills Parking Garage, at the Convention Parking Garage, at the Union Plaza Parking Garage, or even at Glory Road right next to UTEP, where visitors can actually hitch a free ride with the El Paso Streetcar on Saturday. So not only do visitors get to experience the wonderful adventure of the streetcar, but they get to be dropped off at the doorstep of Chalk the Block. There will also be a streetcar tour on Sunday, October 9th, starting at 12 p.m. for those who park at the Convention Center, which will be completely free. This tour will capture all of the activated Chalk the Block art. We also partnered with Glide, which is a scooter company in El Paso that will provide different points around the festival for those who choose to park a little bit further. They can go ahead and scoot themselves closer to the festival at a discount using the code CHALK. Where can people find more information? Those that are interested in finding more information about Chalk the Block can visit our newly launched website, which is www.chalktheblock.com. A big shout out to our city IT department for helping us launch this. On our website, interested visitors can find maps, schedules, parking information, vendor information, and so much more. Well, that does it on this edition of Facts Friday. Andrea, thank you so much for joining us, and thank you all for watching. As Andrea mentioned, if you need any more information, make sure and visit chalktheblock.com or check out MCAT's social media pages. We'll see you all on the next Fact Friday.